hangs heavy in the late night sky, yet the Pope still fall. Let's have a look why. The day was long and offered nothing of cheer. How about a story over a mug of beer? Crowd around all who dwell here. I'm Jack. Call me the storyteller. Quiet down and lend me your ear. I know exactly what you want to hear. I'll spin you a yarn, and before I'm through, you'll be as sure as I that every word is true. It's about a brave little girl with hardly a fear, who looked for her life like any of these kids here. But wait, who's this stumbling onto the stage? A round of applause for our leading lady. Her name is Abby. She lived in a quaint little village just like... like this one. Trust me, it's not so important where you are from. Even the meekest hick town has stories galore. So the one I'm telling might as well be yours. A little circus was in town, traveling their route, wooing the locals wherever they were about. And amongst all these passers-by, here's Abby. Would you like to say hi? Come on, Abby. Show us what you're made of. Not bad. Well done, eh? Or do you think Abby's selling you short? She's not here by chance, though. No, this isn't a visit. This is her home. Fortune has deemed her artiste extraordinaire, though not extraordinary enough to command her fair share. The ringmaster announces, Attention, the artiste! A meagre little girl child confronts the beast. Help! I'm afraid I've dropped my cat. Someone to the rescue! Can I be safe, Pascal? Stop now, use your wit. Phenomenal, Abby. Do tell. The ringmaster praises. You've mastered that well. But now the hours have whiled away. That was the last performance of the day. Alas, when she's not before the cheering crowd, Abby's life is far from proud. You had the audience cheering for more. The ringmaster praises and then locks the door. Poor Abby. 
held in a small cage day and night, only free for the length of a staged fight. Food and lodging, if you eat like a bird. But, oh, how she longs to see the world. What's this? A pair of rats take heed and bring an apple in her hour of need. The ringmaster storms in, disturbed it seems. What's going on here? He stops and screams. Should she suffice with the bars of a cage? No. She belongs on the world's wide open stage. Impertinent? That means brash. Don't tell me you wouldn't make a dash for it. And carefully, carefully, don't make a sound. She slips away from the ringmaster's grounds. Poor us. Abby knows too well how his captivity feels. Raging beast? Hardly. A trusted friend also wanting to flee. Abby, Abby, don't you see? The threads holding you up also hold you back. Without the help of friends, and those are very few, your dreams will stay dreams and never come true. Damn. Hopefully no one heard that. Together, dear Abby, you can move out. Was it worth it? All this trouble? Urs and Abby can continue their struggle. But what's that? The ringmaster? Found out fast. Oh my! Ah, the loyalty of a beast, so often attributed to the heart, but perhaps a deficiency of the intellect. Apparently, Urs found Abby's cage to be smaller than his own. Well done, Urs. Though now she's alone. Quick now, Abby, run away! Don't look back. It's a start. New day. Abby wanted the world, and it shows itself at its best. The fields, the flowers. But you can't afford to rest. The voices pursuing her, they slowly subdue. To wind stroking grass, cricket orchestras, sounds all so new. Stone by stone, tree by tree. World without commands, it's strange to be free. The evening sky paints the air, coloring over Abby's despair. Sunbeams tingling with warmth, inviting you, continue forth. The world is beautiful, Abby. Look at its colors. Take it in while you can. Enjoy the wonders. It's just a windmill standing still, perhaps envying you for your free will. It is what it is, a stubborn wooden thing. Still, you can't get past it with your strings. That's the way. The mill waves Abby goodbye, 
its arms swinging high in the sky. Little Abby stops with a shiver. If you want to be free, you'll have to cross the river. Resourceful little lass. Where there's no bridge, she uses her class. Uh oh! Without tools, determination comes up empty. May I lend you a string, lest fatigue be too tempting? See, you can trust me. A hunter's cabin, a light, looks inviting, eh, Abby? Warm and bright. Oh, wouldn't that be fabulous? The old wolf is dying. Leave him in peace. His travels are over. Yours are yet to be. A girl who moves windmills will certainly manage to get a little card out of the way. Abby, what are you doing? The... the strings? What are you doing with the strings? Stop that. The wolf has lived his life. Let him be. What the? What did I tell you? You have to do what I say. If you don't listen to me, I can't help you. Got it? What do we care what's happened to a wolf? The wolf is yonder, to become dog fodder. And who freed him from the planks? Heroic Abbey. Yet not a single word of thanks. The trees block Abbey with wooden claws. But they're afraid they'll burn their paws. Mud, thunder and lightning are terrible opponents. Poor little Abby has to endure some trying moments. Alone in the world she runs wildly about, while the embers of freedom are slowly doused out. Well, well, Abby, the world all campfires and song, eh? Aye, it's a sorry state of affairs. This torch is all you've got, Abby. I 
I've heard tales of creatures in these woods. Dangerous vermin, up to no good. There she is with a hideous leg, ready to devour you, catch you in her web. seems to do the trick. She doesn't like your torture bit. Well done. You forced her retreat. Don't try your luck. I recommend you flee. Well, you certainly seem to feel confident at the end of my strings. Your torch, Abby. It's going out. The fire's gone out. How are you going to light your torch now? wasn't built in a day. Abby! Do you see how much you need me? This is no place for you. Careful. What you couldn't manage, someone else could do. Oh, Abby, what have you gotten yourself into? Tiptoe away, Abby. Quiet. Whoever is able to slay a spider like that is possibly not the most compassionate. That... that's a ringmaster, all decked out in a dark forest, and conspiratively whispering with who? About what? Oh my, it's Tonda, the merciless plunderer. He's the one who tore the spider asunder. Abby's weight in gold shall be yours if you bring her back through my circus doors. Since she's gone, my world has gone black. Damn it, 
I want the little brat back. The ringmaster pleaded, the ringmaster whined, but Tonda just laughed and sipped his wine. Remember the bear? We caught him in a day without further ado. A little lost juggler girl won't cost but a few. Ringmaster, have your reward ready. We'll bring your abbey back just as I told. Get ready, men. We'll be bathing in gold. The mercenaries and thieves gather round Tonda, as hungry and determined as a huge anaconda. Their leader is big enough for two, strong enough for five. They'll do anything for a buck and more to survive. The bandits get back to their work, building a castle, or at least a fort. That looked painful. Without some smarts up in your crown, all the muscle in the world would only weigh you down. Once you sneak past certain death, it's easy to believe that life lies ahead. But Abby, you thought your luck had turned, but in fact it's merely whimpered and squirmed. And now, only thickets too thick for a girl. So where is this oh-so-beautiful world? Dangers lurking in that swamp, Abby. Do you smell that, Abby? That's death. The world's perfect. It's Thunder and his gang. Run, Abby. Run for your life. You can't get away. Thunder calls through the woods. Watch out! Or have you grown so accustomed to me helping? Grunts, enraged. Abby's nowhere to be found. He's not used to having his prey escape the hunting grounds. A moment of grace can have an exorbitant price. Abby's freedom is at the roll of the dice.
Tonda's band of thieves has moved on, it seems, yet they continue to look, for this world is their regime. Once they've tasted blood, they'll discover your tracks. Rare is the victim that's managed to slip through the cracks. Abby, you've come too far, seen too much to give in. This freedom you've achieved is but a burden. No matter where you hasten, no matter how you try, your feet are no less blistered, your dreams are no less shy. Freedom is hard, Abby. Get used to it. The woods are a lonely place, but in a village, can Abby find solace? Not particularly respectful, but if it works. So, Abby, still thrilled by your sense of adventure? Or do you find yourself recalling how your cage was so secure? Don't let him bite you. Where would you be without me, your storyteller? You'd be dog food for old Yeller. Romping about in search of a bone, does he remind you of anyone? Ha <laughs> ha! And for a rotten wooden peg, he's forgotten the one thing he shouldn't. Abby peers into strangers' homes as she passes. Humble abodes, but for Abby, it is a castle. Only one way to find out. Open or bar, Abby rushes headlong and hungry into the baker's yard. Abby, no one will welcome you like that. The baker lady has a broken fence. You can't hold it against the baker. You look for all the world a mischief maker. Turning too quickly. <laughs> How she refuses to give up. Abby, not the nicest thing to do. But then, where was her hospitality for you? Congratulations. Baker lady says adieu. But who welcomes someone like you? Tonda and his gang are also here, it seems. Take care that they don't spoil your dreams. You slip them and the rains erased your tracks. But I don't think you can allow yourself to relax. They'll not forget you too soon or let the ringmaster down. For his promised gold, they'll plunder the whole town. Hey, watch out for your strings! Oh, Abby, be careful! Who's going to clean all this up? Besides, your strings are all tangled. I've got to... One more. No! Done! Oh, what? Uh, how? Abby. Abby stumbles. 
She's running out of time. She falls to the earth and... Ah, uh, has to climb. With all her strength, Abby managed to climb the scaffolding. Amusement's in the air, yet Abby can't go there. Look, a carnival, Abby. Everyone's there. But where's your place? Just as Abby is crossing the breach, escapes by the skin of her teeth. Once, her acrobatics filled the villages with happiness. Since she's fled, she's known only duress. Abby hasn't lost her arm, she can still throw far. You don't want to miss the end of the story, do you? Her big little eyes have seen enough of the ways the world can be so rough. What sparkled like gold turned black, what tasted sweet turned sour. Abby's beautiful world of adventure was washed away on torrential showers. In the end, she no longer wants to roam. She wishes for nothing but to be back home. Thinking, oh, all the trouble she's endured. She fell into the bandit's arms and surrendered. Off they go with Abby, the happy little horde, dreaming of all the things they'll do with their reward. And because they're happy or because the road is long, Instead of marching in silence, they all join in a song. We won the life in freedom, Mary step is grand. We just marry bandits, tower of the land. We just marry bandits, tower of the land. The circus, the circus, the juggler slipped the sack. And now we finally got and we're bringing Abby back. Once we get there, our rewards will make us fed. We're rich, we're rich, so much gold for little bread. We're going to hand you over and collect the handsome wage and leave you to your fate in a golden circus cage. We won the life in freedom, Mary Step is grand. We just marry bandits, tower of the land. So you want to stop us, just step into our power. Like a girl, she do her tricks again. Why wonder fight and free? All the while we sing, we want the life and free. The Mary step is grand. We're just Mary Bandits, tower of the land. We're just Mary Bandits, tower of the land. When they reached the ruins, it was dark enough for a lamp. And they were all happy enough to stop and set up camp. Soon the ringmaster will be all smiles. At dawn we set out and tackle the last few miles. Tonda taunted. Enjoy your last night of freedom. He said and left her to fight her demons. 
Abby, stop your fidgeting. Haven't you learned your lesson? Knowing your place is a blessing. Abby, look what you've done now. You want to be a hero, but have no idea how. Our Abby obviously hasn't learned a thing. Ungrateful know-it-all, but thinks she's a queen. Now, Abby has chosen this fate of her old free will. The story finds its ending. Abby, her last thrill. The flames spread in the bat of an eye. Even the rats flee for their lives. In the end, it is as it must be. What do you think of your heroine now? All tatters and fleas. Serious? I'm losing my patience, Abby. Squirm, Abby. But your corpse is run out. Freedom falls into no one's lap. And if you don't let go, what do you hope to achieve with your squirming? Let go! Behave yourself! Pitiful that you can't accept this one simple truth. Stop this not last chance! This has got to stop! No! No! This is not possible! Hmm. There once was a... Uh, once... Once... Uh... Abby. And, uh, Abby. and... And then? Uh... Wait. Abby, lie in... Yeah, yeah, damn it. Give me a second. Okay, uh, so Abby lay there, and then, and then, you wanted to know what happened, eh? Of course, um, what, what happened? Okay, good. Abby got up, she sat up shaken and found her way back back to her feet. She, she began to run. The world, her world, that I built was in ruins. Because, because, because the war endlessly ravaged and uh, uh, brutal. Yeah. The war ravaged the landscape because, because important people somewhere don't, uh, didn't, didn't get along. Like a stubborn little brat, she ran because, because she had no plan. The war around her was merciless. Ungrateful as she was, she still had no regrets. Mercenaries and banned the land, corrupted the innocent, slaughtered every man. Nothing but corpses and spears, burnt, broken, shabby, nothing left alive, except for the stupid brat Abby. Crawl away in your rabbit hole, Abby.
And then, Tonda enters stage left. He rages and fumes. Now no one's here to save you. Twice a man's size, five times his strength. To teach this brat a lesson, he'll go to any length. Whichever way she goes, the trap will still catch her. Brash little thing, thinking she's something special. Don't stick your hand in things you don't understand. The world around her closes in. Stop fighting back. Let the end begin. He comes to get you and won't hold back. The time to beg mercy is long since past. No chance to escape him, Abby. From left to right, right to left, and then right again. Isn't enough enough? These damned strings. Uh, come on! Abby, stop! You coward! Face your destiny! What? What a pathetic attempt. What? Yeah, right, paddle on. You think you've won? I make the rules. Oh, look how peaceful the lake is. So calm. Ah, Abby thinks she's safe, floating like a leaf. But there's more to worry about than a barbarian thief. In the eye of the storm. Storm! The eye of the storm is deceptively calm. But then it unleashes the force of a thug. Nature is a thug while looking so romantic. A peaceful little lake can rage like the Atlantic. A gaping cavern, a cavernous whirlpool. Boat and passenger, in comparison, minuscule. No chance, Abby. Seems you'd better head back. Face Tonda and hit the sack. Otherwise, you will certainly be dragged into the deep. Abby manages to sail the troubled waters. How can she bring a force of nature to falter? But alas, her fate remains the same. The bandits are in march. See her squirm. Like a worm on the hook, we're finally going to be closing this book. Pathetic little girl! You damn worthless idiots! Away with you! And you! You still think she has a chance? This pathetic little creature? No matter. My world has more than hurricanes and bandits, as you'll soon see. Go on, go on! We'll see how far you get.
See these ruins? The stones lie as they fell, and over all of it lies an ill omen spell. An ancient people, they'd also revolted, an ungrateful bunch, though they'd once been devoted. They wanted more, more, more. They wanted to win, win, win. And now there's nothing left of them but the stories they're in. A sword in a stone, ancient as it is famous. <laughs> but is it good for anything more than diversion? A charming reunion. It truly warms the heart. Too bad Tonda will take the part. It's only a matter of time before Tonda catches you. Be so kind and don't drag it out. <laughs> How do you like that? Damn it! Come on! Abby? Abby? How long is this going to go on? This isn't how you write a story. If you were really a hero, you wouldn't keep hiding. What are you doing in there? No, no, Tonda! What have you done? What have you done? You, you'll regret this. Enough of this nonsense. Come out, you little brat. There you are. Not so fast. Ah! Aren't you tired of hiding like this? See? Not just you can break the rules. Now I'm fed up. I'll show you. Abby, come out. Enough of this pathetic game. Ha, ha! Have you decided to become a lumberjack? That's not going to help you. from him, you! Go away! No, you little! You are so dead! 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 
He'll get you, little girl. Now it's Don't you dare, you maggot! Don't you dare! No! Prepare to die. I see you. I see you. I see you. There's no way out, no matter which side. You're mine. You are trapped. Congratulations. No! I refuse to believe this. Oh, don't you dare. Stay away from him. Ah! How dare you? You're a puppet. My puppet. This world. I make the rules here. I'll crush you. Come here. I'm your creator, your god. You brat, to hell with you. You are nothing. Do as I say. Die, will you? Die! Go away. Just go away. No! No, 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 no. Please come. Thank you. 